Welcome back to Charlotte today. We are cooking today with one of my favorite ingredients, beer. Mmm, <laughs> beer good. Not just any beer, too. Guinness beer. Now, it's not what you think of when you think of dessert, but my new bestest friend here, Chef Carrie Leonard, is here to change our mind with her recipe for Guinness Cream Brulee. I've heard this Absolutely. is fantastic, Carrie. Absolutely. This is creme brulee. Okay. It, it's known for being just the, the most decadent dessert, and then we're going to make it, we're going to take it up a couple notches. We're going to add Guinness beer. I'm going to reduce it down so it's almost like this really glazed, nice sauce. And we're going to add a little bit of chocolate. But the finished product is better than you would ever imagine it to and be. And we're going to have fire today, too. We are. Okay. Well, okay. We're going to have fire, okay. pyrotechnics, right. and alcohol. What How else? do we get this rolling, Carrie? Let's go. Okay, here's my heavy cream that mm -hmm. we're going to put in here. Don't ask about the calories. We're just going to put that right in there. In my heavy cream, I'm going to get that warmed up. I'm going to add chocolate. Now, what I have right here is the. Um, Milk chocolate is actually going to help uh, tone down some of the bitterness of the beer. Okay. So I'm adding that right in, letting it start to simmer. You don't want to let that boil, but you want to let it simmer. Chocolate Get that stirring beer around. And heavy cream. Yep. We're going to oh, have that. Sounds like a night with my wife and myself. Right, now, <laughs> I got one started for us already. Okay. So okay. we've got this one that's been simmering for just a little bit, mm -hmm. nice and creamy. I'm going to add this to an egg mixture. This is just four egg yolks. You can get the recipe off. The only thing you got to really be worried about here is it's called tempering your egg yolks. Okay. Because I'm going to have cool egg yolks and I'm going to have hot milk with the chocolate. Those are the only things I need to worry about. And the about temperature here. differences could be. It's going to cool your eggs. It'll make you you'll look like you have an omelet instead of a, uh, a creme brulee. All right, all right. Be careful so I'm getting when you this do this. All mixed be together. Careful. All right, here we go. Here comes the hot stuff. We're going to pour this in. I'm backing up. You ready for the hot stuff? <laughs> I'm backing up. You go ahead, hot stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a little bit. Just a touch. That's all we're looking for is just a touch. And what that's going to do is heat the eggs up just a little bit, pour a little bit more in. Now, while I'm getting this ready to go, we're going to reduce the beer. We've got to get it out of his hands first. That's okay. the problem. Go ahead. And we're gonna are you ready? What are we going to do with the beer? We're going to put it right here in this saucepan. Got to open it. We're going to need an open. I don't. Oh, no. <laughs> what are we going to do? Hey, I, I, I think hey, we have an opener. Hang on. We don't have an opener. We have a redneck. I think. <laughs> oh, no. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right, all right here we go. Right in there. Who knew? Talents. There we go. How much? All of it? All of it. Oh, can I save some for myself? No. All right. Okay, okay maybe all right. later. It's, it's, we'll okay. talk. Okay, all right. Now that's 12 ounces going in there, and what we're going to do is reduce it down to this. This is not much. Look in here. All I'm going to do is reduce it down to about a quarter of a cup. So that's okay. what I'm going to be working with here. Now, I've got my mixture going here that's already got all the good stuff. All right. You've got a With couple the, more minutes. I want to make sure and get to the fire. You got, I know. <laughs> that's the most important part. But we are about done here. Okay. We're getting that set up. Here we go. Ready for the beer? I'm ready. Okay, boy, this is hard. Putting the beer in. That's my part when we make this. I always put the beer in. You okay. like that? I okay. Like the beer. Let's get this in the oven. Careful. Kind of Always use a container do, huh? that has a pour spout on it. That's the lesson here. Don't worry, we are working with a professional here today. You know, so that's she can what do I'm it saying. Without it. Okay. We have skills. And we take it and we put it into the oven, I would yep. assume. We're going to put that right in the oven. You ready? Now, how long does it go in the oven for? Um, about 20 minutes. We're going to okay. put a little water in the bottom of a water bath. That's going to help keep this from okay. um, sticking too much. I'll All open right. the oven for you. You're awesome. You will put it in. Here we go. Okay. And let that cook for 20 minutes, and then we're going to let it chill for a couple hours. Just happen to have a handy one here for you. Pull it out. Okay. There we now, go. Now we're going to work in this area. Boy, you're a mess. I know. <laughs> How come I'm always talked about like this? <laughs> Only in front of your face. Come on, Carrie. I want to. <laughs> okay. I want to get to the fire. Fire. Right. We're going to put sugar on fire. Here's the sugar. Mm -hmm. We're going to get that all on top. Ready to light this? Come here. Don't be scared. Fire in the hole. All right. All right. Look at that. Ha! And what do I do? Okay. Just, just hold it about this far away. away. Yep. Ready? Get that going. Kids, don't. Did it go out? Did, no, it did not. No, it did. It's, a, it's it such did. a bright colored flame, you know, you don't, can't even see Come it. Come on, baby, light my fire. Light it real quick All here right, again. Come you on. Got it. We got about 30 seconds, and I want to get a taste of this thing here. Okay, well, look. All right, well, it'll all melt down. Wow. It's all down so now. Cool. Sugar's down. Look at that. There is your finished product. Let's move that over here so mm, we can see how beautiful mm, that is. You see that? Lovely. I have something for you. Can I grab a taste? Absolutely. I've heard this is amazing. I'm ready. It's ridiculous okay. good. Mm. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> it's good stuff. Mm. When we come back, 
That time is ticking down for our live experience. We're trying to help a Charlotte Today viewer go from messy to manageable in just one hour. And they're finishing up the work on the test room. We'll see how well they did in just a bit. If you don't have access to the internet but would like a recipe seen on Charlotte Today, send a stamp self-addressed envelope to Charlotte Today Recipes at 1001 Woodridge Center Drive, Charlotte, North Carolina 28217.